Aryom Swamiji. Yo. Welcome to the second episode of our series, and uh, the first episode was so profound with the message of love, care, and concern. Uh, Swamiji, when you were talking about this in the first episode, you brought out a word uh, which was uh, samatvam, and you said. everything comes from that spirit and every every part of it is there uh, so often people like us we 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 are not able to look at everything around us uh, as that part of the spirit uh, we differentiate we we try to uh, be partial we we like our own uh, some dislikes or strong priorities mm. how how is uh, you know i have heard you talk about mata ji and how is it that uh, how do we develop a mano bhavana where we are at least on the journey to that samatvam kind of a feeling uh, how do we go, do that first of all uh, we should remind ourselves merely intellectually analyzing alone will not help us unless it is backed up with some some discipline some discipline suitable for our temperament to keep us on the track because over the years we have developed so many concepts so the absence of otherness is nothing but love pure a form of love when the mind the mother when it see the child you know even when she is cooking the child may be in the cradle when the when she is arcing part of the mind is on the child standing herself when the child cries immediately she go rushes there that means absence of otherness there is no other a part so it is something which we have seen correct even in our own life when we are on a project when we are totally committed to the ideal and involve ourselves totally with it you will find after the, after some time you will find at that time you will not after the, you become one with the project correct correct and so you you know this is not something which is uh, not possible for all of us the only problem is we are limiting it to certain things hmm. now how to expand this god has given all to all of us this technique of stretching ourselves to persons objects situations right but at the same time we, because we don't know the background it is limited to a few people it is not given to everybody alike when we remember pooja mata ji what comes to us is it is given to everybody equally <laughs> so how do we do that because of the discipline spiritual discipline she imposed on herself to get rid of the mental obsession of me and mine me and mine me and mine to be very frank to be more blunt and cruel the me and mine is the biggest hurdle that prevents us from enjoying this absence of others so, this is correct. mine this is not yes. mine no so i in my relationship to that which i consider as mine to consider correct. that which is not mine it differs so absence of otherness we, one fine morning we will not be able to go and embrace the whole world embrace the whole world no it is not possible but we can try to widen the love circle as much as possible and when we are on that we have been assured that mysteriously the guidance will come from within and without i will tell you one one share my own experience prior to coming to ashram we were also working it was it was in it must be in 60s one day uh, it was in chennai we had to we were forced to take permission the office time starts at about 8 o'clock 8 to 5 in our particular department the people who were there they were on leave so we were reluctant to take leave because uh, so many things would be there every day to yeah. connect ourselves with the head office so it is not fair on our part to be absent so at the same time we have to go to the railway station to receive somebody the train reaches only at 8 o'clock 
we were in a dilemma and the section here said don't worry you go and come back on that day the train was late and we could reach office only by 10 o'clock by the time the assistant manager had come and asked for some details the knee nobody was there so he made some harmless comment which was heard by another colleague and when we came he told us we lost our temper we we got wounded we went to the a, a, a assistant manager's cabin as usual with all love he said yes sit down we did not sit <laughs> and the moment his work was over we you know in a in a most uh, unruly manner we presented the whole thing ah. he is double of our age he were a clerk he is an assistant manager he heard patiently we are trying to understand some of the absence of otherness you know uh, we, he heard patiently pata 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 we started giving accusing and finally he said did i give a memo did i ask for the uh, leave instruction that you should meet me before you go for work did i ask for the attendance register which was waiting for your signature suddenly i remember nothing so i made a big fuss about a small thing which i should have done i i had not expressed it when he thought you know i am not still convinced this elderly person who is the assistant manager he stood up from his seat and said if you still feel i have hurt your feelings i am sorry please i really went and tried to go down and touch his feet immediately he took me forget about it man there was no post mortem but then later on when i started going deeper into it here it is absence of other that means he did not see me as another he was trying to dispassionately view everything ah correct when he came back he did not take leave because of his loyalty and sincerity to the work so he had come naturally when somebody says you would have got offended that is okay na natural not taking it in the negative way you will take it everything in the negative way only when you see otherness 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 so you, in our work day life it is possible at home we are doing it no at times certain things we may be able to say yes at times we may not be able to say yes but even then there is no prejudice formed the otherness is not there even if we shout nobody take takes it heart ah this nature is like that he is pada pada then afterwards he will keep quiet no? he is loving <laughs> though he is a little short term but like that people will say you know that you, you are talking to... about me swami ji <laughs> <laughs> you are talking about <laughs> no, we, 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 not about you <laughs> Now the thing is, we we will not feel bad. You feel bad only when you see the otherness. So we are trying to understand what absence of otherness. Absence of otherness at every at every stage. Not that we are cultivating. When we stretch ourselves, these are the expressed form of absence of otherness. It is not a technical. It's not a literary thing that we are trying to learn. No. when we try to extend ourselves stretch ourselves identify ourselves when we become one with others then we give all these elevenses we accommodate we reconcile we patiently hear even if we say no you know it will be lovingly said sorry you know whatever you may be say you may be right from your standpoint but uh, sorry it's not possible you know, there is a way of telling so again but, swami ji i i i uh, so from what i am hearing now again it is a part of that that love quotient Correct. which which brings in that uh, the removes that otherness uh, feeling of otherness and brings in that oneness into it right just so, like just like i have got the right to have my own rights and wrongs i try to accept that everybody has got that right so when i when i try to recognize their right i may not be able to go along with them but my 
deliverance will be different so in a way if i rephrase it and because i understand a certain vocabulary it is also about empathy empathy it is, yeah. it is about empathy in yeah. a way right? so so when i accommodating when i i am ready to look at it with empathy yeah i am able to accept some body else's mistakes we when we look at the positive side of an individual we will be able to move faster towards him when we look at the certain areas where we differ then we move away from him otherness will come suppose I, there is a person who may be uh, who may be having some something which we have named it as negative but at the same time we realize that there are so many positive things in him then you see your your tone of reaction will be different not that you will agree with what he says but your tone of reaction will be definitely real that is because you have accommodated him in your heart you have not uh, so, so these are true. this is great. something yeah this is something which happens to us on a daily basis, daily basis uh, i agree i agree with you uh, one minute just a minute that is why we remember one quotation of papa we would like everybody to uh, uh, think over it the world we live in is a school hmm. in which observation and experience offer us immense possibilities for self improvement may the world itself is guru or god the world we live in is a school uh-huh. in which observation and experience offer us immense possibilities for self improvement may the world itself is guru or god so every experience i get it is a move towards absence of otherness god is comes out in the form of absence of otherness so whenever i when i whenever i start noticing any anybody saving anything anybody uh, compromising anybody accommodating immediately you are reminded a tsunami comes somebody goes identifies themselves correct it is not that it is reserved for anybody suppose you god forbid suppose you are sitting before the tv you find in the news somewhere there is disaster what is your immediate reaction oh god no you are not happy that means you have you have become one with them so it is it is, it is the inherent quality in all of us to have this absence of otherness somewhere something made us to forget about it so we are now trying to watch that's why papa said the world we live in is a school in which observation and experience they they help us to become more and more perfect more and Swamiji, more i have to i have to request you to you know i i remember an episode which you talked about mata ji uh, you know it it was among the first few lessons probably you talked to me about how mata ji embraced people you know uh, it, it, i just want you to you know share a few minutes uh, on that aspect because it's so, so yes. important yes uh, early day one one night somebody came and stealthily plucked the coconuts and uh, as he was striving to get down the watchman caught him okay and on those days you know they will manhandle you know so they were brought to mata ji as soon as they were brought the first question mata ji asked was have they had their food ayyo ayyo ah uh. is a mother absence of otherness can come only when the love circle goes and embraces everybody all right out of immaturity they have taken but has he eaten and when the food was given she said if you wanted this why did you do it like this do you think it will help you you will have to pay for it later in way here after don't do it she gave those coconuts extra coconuts and some more money and sent it <laughs> she doesn't bother whether the the administrative level the avaharic level this can be followed or not 
it was a spontaneous bringing out because to her body is another one boy may, may be having some weakness another boy may be shrewd another boy may have some cravings another boy will be balanced but a mother is a mother for everybody you know there are many many instances we are just quoting one or two correct in fact she the, the feeling that spirituality stands for absence of otherness it was given to us when we came here for the first time in 64 the first two three days we spent then that gave us the real meaning of spirituality we may be doing so many disciplines but ultimately mm -hmm. it has to zero to this where we extend our love circle to as many as possible we may not be able to go and embrace the whole world but to the extent possible to objects persons situations so so profound it is you know the, the thought itself to be able to embrace the whole world um, and accept them and love them in spite that that in spite is so so beautiful uh, thank you swami ji for this this you okay. know it's a very great eye opener for all of us and i think the the message of love the message of empathy the message of uh, you know looking beyond accepting not judging so many aspects which we do every day on a daily basis minute basis i think we we need to be uh, learning from it my, uh, thank you so much thank my you so my one much. my one request is whenever we hear or when we whenever we happen to go through or uh, study it will become ours only when we try to integrate it with our own experience otherwise it becomes an academic exercise so as soon as we hear this god must have given to everyone some opportunity at that time we would not have seen with this dimension now suppose when you start recollecting it you will try to know what is spirituality what is absence of otherness in the light of what we have now heard and then you know it becomes ours then only it becomes ours correct otherwise it will come and go we hear and then we forget but when we keep on doing some manana drilling you know the contemplation reflection upon it and uh, linking with our own life that is very very important papa used to keep on harping this so let us all pray to him to make us to connect ourselves with all these uh, the experiences he has given previously we did not we would not have understood correct. now we pray to him through that are you are you